Well, I, I found it impossible to control the blood sugars with the high carb diet. Even even we we tried so hard to manipulate the insulin in such a way with pre bolusing and all these crazy techniques, it was impossible. But now that we've uh, started following your guidelines, uh, you know our average blood sugar is about 80, 82, and the standard deviation is small. Um, sometimes we'll see some mid 60s, and sometimes we'll see something in the you know 105 range. But we we can always correct those things. Does that does that sound about right as far as the experience that uh, uh, people should have by following your guidelines? Those are reasonable values. We find that we can get an even narrower range with type 2 diabetics, and it's especially easy with type 1s if you catch them early on, because you can preserve the functioning of their beta cells. Beta cells are not just destroyed by problems with the immune system, they're also destroyed by the toxicity of glucose. Uh, I might add that uh, high blood sugars forcing the, blood, the beta cells to make lots of insulin uh, exposes a protein on the surface of the beta cell uh, called GAD that is uh, attacked by antibodies. And uh, so when the beta cells are hyper secreting because blood sugars are high, they're much more likely to be destroyed. So um, you can preserve beta cell function, make blood sugar control much easier if you uh, control it early on at, from the very beginning.